hi hi guys assalamualaikum welcome back to my channel hope everyone is doing fine yeah i was before this video i was saying something the world is like turning is it turning down how can i call it yeah because there are many many things going on one by one first it was corona another thing is happening now if you haven't seen the news too much is happening especially in america but now it is country the all it's all over the whole world it's not only in america it's all over the whole world before if you haven't traveled by the way you cannot you don't know how that pain is if you still how can i say back in africa or back in uganda where i grew up from even me i have just traveled we didn't see such a things happening the only issue you should face you can face in africa like food um corruption other other things but the things of racism you can you don't know how the pain is so today as you can read by the title i'm going to be sharing my story as at the same time like trying to we try to bring like arguments yeah why it is like this but at at times we give people platform yeah that's what i can say at times we give people platform to pray with us or to to do other other things yeah so when i came to dubai by the way this is everywhere yeah this is everywhere before i came even to dubai i was in uganda my aunt is in sweden she came back to uganda so we went with her to get some cash from the bank uh, there is this lady who was working in the bank we still like writing the papers signing doing each and everything feeling each and everything so there is this english person who came in so this lady wanted to attain to this english lady before even us at <laughs> i don't know even she wanted she saw the english lady entering like this we already in the bank but she wanted to uh, to attain to the english lady before even us it was so embarrassing yeah it was so embarrassing so leave that story aside i'll bring that one back when i was i was here yeah i was here between even last year last year yeah last year in november because i was like i'll never forget that day in my life it has been happening but not so much has it happened on that day so we have this store at airport i was working in airport yeah before all this saga happens i was in airport so there is this person he was going to us that's what i can say he was going to us because where my shop is you can see there is a that board where you can see all flights or which is, this one is going at this time so it is so much easy to know so she was going to us so this person she ordered for a milkshake yeah she ordered for a milkshake i'm working in beverage i'm working in all sorts of like dessert thing she ordered for a beverage um sorry a milkshake so i gave her the milkshake what she ordered for so i had a lot of customers i had like six people waiting so i attended to her she took her milkshake then she went her way so after like 10 minutes she came back i still had like more customers coming in it's an airport it's a sitting area whereby people tend to eat and do like goes so i had other people to work in i'm the cashier i'm the one making everything i'm the one cleaning i'm the one doing each and every sort of, you know work thing so she came back she was complaining like she found a hair in her shake but the shake she was talking about it was already almost yeah. finishing on a serious point if the bottle was like this is my phone if the bottle was like this i think the shake was here yeah here at the last at the extreme end that's why she came with with that hair in complaining shouting too much the shake was costing 25 dirham i don't know how me myself how i think but the shake was costing 25 dirham the way she was shouting as if the shake was costing 100 dirham or 200 dirham so she was like i need my money back i told her myself i can't do anything about that i'm not the one in charge of cancelling orders here the only thing i can do i can give you another shake then i put that bottle back because everything which is getting out out of this shop it is counted and it's not 
my authority. The only people who can cancel that bill, they are in office, and you can reach that report tomorrow morning. It was around nine, nine. So what this lady did, she was like, I'm going to go and call police. I was straight and told her the police is just there. Yeah, the police is just there. Before I had some stories, I have my relative in the state that were telling me how those people, they are treating them. So I knew. She thought, when she told me I'm going to call the police, I'll be fidgeting. I was not fidgeting. I was so confident. I knew. So she went and called the police. The police came in. The man he brought was my friend lucky enough he was always talking to me rahma what 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 coming from where yeah, yeah, yeah. no more discussion so lucky enough the man even if it was not my friend that would have not been a problem but he brought that policeman before even the lady was shouting reaching that before reaching the shop she was shouting telling me yeah she's the one that girl if you see the way she's looking she's as how 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 the way I'm looking can can I put how am I so evil to put a hair in your shake? Huh? So she came back with the policeman. The policeman was like, Rahma, what is what is the problem? What is the problem with this lady? She started explaining the whole situation, how she pulled her hair in my shake. So I want the refund, I want my twenty five dirham. So I told the policeman I don't have that authority to give her the money because I'm not the one in charge of cancelling bills here. The person who can cancel her bills is the manager and office they are already closed until tomorrow morning at 10 that's when she can get the money the only option she has is to get another shake because that one i can write somewhere that this and this happened and they repress they know how to repress it but for the money wise if i get the money that till it's me responsible for it i'll pay that money so that woman was still shouting too much shouting so she didn't knew that I'm covering 24 by the 24 hours. I'm always covering my head. Yeah, I'm always covering my head. I don't remove my scarf off or unless I'm home. If I get out from home, my head is always covered. So she didn't knew that my head is covered, but I have short hair. I don't even have how like this hair on my head. So she was shouting too much. The policeman was like, Rahima, give give her the money give her what she wants i was like why should i make her contented of something she's claiming me about she's even telling me how tell you why i can put her hair in her make she see how i'm looking see what 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 how is my looking can yeah? so what she did i told them both of them i'm not going to give you that money so the only option you have is to take the shake if not and to give you to add on that me myself i don't have hair you see so i was opening my veil like this you know in dubai it's not allowed to undress a muslim lady the policeman was shouting no 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 it is not allowed don't remove it. no i removed the, my hair i was like i removed it like this and you say i don't have hair how come i put the hair in your shake and the person who is working here during daytime is a man also before you enter this shop you see there are air net there there is also a cape me who is covering i'm covering 24 7. how come i put that hair in and to tell you the truth there is no any african person who has that hair like the one in your shake either that has to be a wig or it is even possible the hair to be yours yeah, it is very possible that hair to be yours. So, the policeman just left. She was like, Rahima, try to sort yourself with that lady. Yeah, I told her the reality. I told, I was so frank. I, I, I could be like, I could give that money to her back. But the way she approached me, the way she was showing her attitude as if I'm a fool, as if I'm capable of putting her hair in her shake, like something, yeah. There are many, many things. So that incident, it uh, destroyed the all of my day. The way people were looking at me, the way everyone was looking at me, I think back from where she's, she was coming from, she was doing also sort of things but when i gave her the reality the only thing as we do we are making by the way a mistake we are making too much of mistake you have seen what happened to that black man george so there are many many things happening in the back 
behind up but people have different stories people have different experiences of racism even here people have different especially those people are working in houses they have different different things i told you in my story about my work also how my manager told me africans we don't get tired how come i'm complaining i'm sick and you're telling me africans they don't get tired how come am i a machine am i not human uh, do i have purple blood i have blood group same same blood group with what you have so how come you raise such a comment to me so i think we're giving those people too much attention we get we are the one allowing them to do what they do to us and another thing there is this the way you people you're trying to promote intellectual relations yeah? relations yeah if a black person marries a white person there is a way you you try to push it what are you pushing it is normal that is so normal don't look at someone as if huh? it is they are human beings they are so human like us but there is the way you people you try to criticize the situation i saw a one person a Ghanaian. yeah she's from ghana she married someone from i think from uk or from anywhere or au anything so she was like she took her husband to her country and all the sisters like they were hey they want to feel the body is it real ah, ah, what is that huh? what is that they are all human beings you the one trying to raise those people up i told you in the beginning the story about us in the bank me and my aunt you the one try to the way they are treating you people treat try even to do the same thing to them don't like huh? don't give them that platform of let us stand as we below who told you we have to be at the same platform me i have shared my my own story but the only reason the only big 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 reason why that thing is still on us giving them the platform to stand on don't give that platform if this thing is happening to you and you keep quiet tend to speak out if i didn't speak to that lady the way she would have jumped on me the way she thought how she, when she goes and called the police i'll be fidgeting i'll be like what there is a way people tend to look at us huh? even at work where we work from me i tell you the truth but my friend you seeing me here i'm working here i owe something i'm a graduate i'm from somewhere so i have some knowledge don't minimize me i don't keep quiet on a certain level i don't keep quiet even if i'm talking to my manager i will explain the old situation don't let people like look at you the way they want to huh what is that we are here on this world with the same purpose on a serious point we are here on the same purpose we don't want to be negative it is affecting and it's hurting by the way, that is the way it is hurting. You see someone, uh, there is also this situation. I went with my food, yeah, with my lunchbox. So this guy, but for this guy, he's coming from India. Yeah, even have, <laughs> have too much stories to share. Sorry about that. But this guy is coming from India. You know what he did? He put my food, my lunchbox in the sink where we wash hands from they wash hand from that sink they wash their faces from that sink that's where she pressed my lunch box so i was like i asked them who put my all the people we were working with we are like seven people at the station so i was asking them who put my lunch box in the sink in the washing sink so everyone was saying no no it's not me my free you know, people my so some all everyone sri lanka some was saying like it's not us we can't do such a thing so when i asked this guy he came in then i was asking him who put my food are you the one who put my food in my in the sink he was proudly even confidently sh sh saying i'm the one what can you do huh what can you do i'm the one which kind of nonsense is that i look at this guy i was going to do something which it is not allowed in dubai by the way i was the first person even immediately they called a the manager i 
get this guy like this <laughs> i told you there is no person in below my eye who can do such a thing to me and you're so proud you're not even sorry about it i'll slap you i'll hit you i'll give you this print if your parents didn't give you this print i'll give you this print i'm not you like emphasizing you people to go and fight people out yeah there is a way you can raise some things and people tend to understand you instead of keeping quiet and hurting yourself you have other worries to think about but even don't give platform to people that is the only thing i can give befriend those ones who want to be befriend don't fool don't let someone fool you around because you're seeing what is happening this is just a color yeah this is just a color black is just a color it's not we have the same blood we have the same everything and it is happening everywhere racism is happening everywhere it's not only in america it's not only in dubai it's not only in the uk or anywhere it's happening everywhere where someone we have reached in this century where somebody they can present a black person and you'll be wondering why do you wonder you have seen everything happening if you see a black person married to a white person and you still wonder what is that that is normal very very normal i don't see anything huh i don't see anything bad with that so my people i don't want to prolong my video it's already too much leave a comment stand on that truth and gain your freedom speak where necessary like be confident about that is you you will never come if you don't speak you that person in you will never come if you have a chance to talk talk okay talk if you have a chance to talk there is no right chance to talk you have have seen everything which is happening so that is my story me myself until we meet again inshallah leave a comment down have you experienced the same thing like me or any other kind of racism but this thing has to stop this is just a color black is not a crime we have the same blood we have the same everything if this person is a muslim it's also a muslim and those things i have been saying many many things in one of my, all my previous video there is a way people tend to address some situation if you see me veiling and you'll be wondering are you a muslim why do you ask me if i'm muslim you're already seeing i'm varying and you're seeing my null in my face and you're still asking am i a muslim is it only you supposed to be a muslim <laughs> i don't know i don't know so that is it concerning this so enjoy the video as you share your experience down and your living coming it's not a crime to be a black person black is just a color yeah that is it until we meet again inshallah with another video fight for your freedom be confident you were the one to stop this no one is going to stop it but you yourself bye bye